Hey everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back with another video for my Jingle Jangle Christmas series. And I'm getting a lot of gifts ready for coworkers and friends and family. And I love to give treats out every year. And I just designed this cute snowman hat treat box. I don't know, I'm kind of like addicted to the snowman hats this year. But anyway, this is what we're going to make. This is the front. This is the back. And I added the handle this way. I'm not sure if I want to put it this way or not. Maybe we'll try that on the box that we're going to create together. But this is what we're making. So what you're going to need is... Okay. You're going to need two sheets two pieces for the actual hat that measure three by two and three quarter inches. So you're going to need two. Now I've already run mine through my snowflake embossing holder and then I took some of this white ink and I rubbed it on which I'll do to this one so you can see in case you're not familiar with how to do that. And then you'll need two sheets for the hat rim or two pieces for the hat rim that are three and a half by three quarter. And I've already done these. So I'm just going to do that to this one. And I just have some white stays on ink. And I usually lay a paper down. That way I don't get my mat messy. But I just lightly run the ink across the embossing and I try really hard not to push in because really you just want to bring life to um, the paper that's embossed and you want to try not to get it in your background but this ink pad as you can see is so worn I need a new one and sometimes I can't help it it just pushes into that other paper but Slightly go across, bringing those snowflakes to life. Okay, I definitely need to get a new one, but that shall wait till after Christmas. Okay, let me put my snowflake thing aside. Okay, so we're going to cut the hat just like we did on all of the embellishments that we made. We're going to put, you want it on the three inch side. No, wait, I lied. Let me look really quick. I don't want to give you guys the wrong measurements. Yes, three inches. Okay, so it's three inches across, two and three quarter high. And you're going to put your scissors in at the bottom right hand corner. Aim them into the left a little bit and just make a little cut. So you should have a piece like this left over and it should give you a little slant. And you're going to flip it over and do the same on this side. Put your scissor in the right bottom hand corner, go in a little bit on a slant and cut. And you can look at it to, to see to make sure you did the right thing. Now if it's easy for you, you can back it up if you want to keep them super similar and just use that front piece now as a template. So you have the same cuts on both sides of the hat. Okay. And then what I'm going to do when we put this on, I'm only going to put it on halfway down. So you're going to leave half of it exposed at the bottom. So I'm just going to run a little bit, maybe about a quarter inch high of glue. Oh, did the wrong side. Let me wipe that off quick. When we make our cut, you're going to turn it around and add the glue to the bottom here. The narrower side that we cut. So I'm going to do about a quarter of an inch high. And like I said, you're only going to go halfway down and you want to make sure you have the same amount sticking out on both sides. I 
I'm going to press down lightly with my finger. You don't want to press down too hard or you'll lose that embossing that you just did. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing to this one. Flip it around about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. I'm going to add glue. And I'm going to flip it around so it's a little easier and just go halfway. Just kind of eyeball it. And make sure the same amount is hanging out on both sides. And then lightly press down with your finger. Okay, super simple. We've already made our hats. And I have some ribbon here. And I got this, I think, from Hobby Lobby. And it, it has two different shades of green and red and white on the edge. So I'm going to line that up right above my hat rim is where I'm going to add my ribbon. Fold it over. Okay, so this side I'm going to add some hot glue. Glue that down. I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to get again add hot glue right on top of that rim there where I know my ribbon is going to lay and then just lay down the ribbon right at the edge. Okay, I'm going to flip it around and trim it off. And add hot glue to finish. Okay, so that one's done. You're going to do the same thing to this one. I love making tree boxes. I love making gift boxes, period. Gift boxes and embellishments, I think they're a lot of fun to create. And you can make them as simple or as elaborate as you'd like. I was actually thinking of um, kind of like our embellishment Let's see if I have one available to show you. I was really thinking I was going to add <laughs> like all this snow and, and paint splotches. See how we added that snow to the snowman hat there? And I thought, oh, I'm going to add snow to this tree box and all this. Yeah, I figured, you know what? We're getting down to the wire here and I'm pressed for time. So I'm just going to add some holly and ribbon and call it a day. But, like I said, if you have the time, you can get as fancy with your treat boxes as you'd like. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so we have both sides done. And I think I'm going to keep this one as my front. Now, the leaves I used are actually um, from a poinsettia dye that I had in my stash right here. So I did that, cut two leaves out from that. And honestly, I don't know the name of the dye, but there's tons of poinsettia dyes with leaves out there. And then for my Merry Christmas sentiment, I used this Noel Christmas stamp set from Recollections, the one right down here. And I got this, I think, last season. And I'm just using some gems, some red gems from the Dollar Tree to create this. So I'm going to glue on my first leaf. Uh, probably right about there looks good. And my second. And then when we're finished up with this, we're going to create the box. Um, 
that looks pretty good. Pull off my blue string here. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. And then just gonna pick off three of the gems. And I did get a little crazy with the glitter, my friends, but I cannot help myself. I love me a sparkle. So on this box, when I completed it, it's actually still wet. I just added some green glitter to the leaves. You can uh, keep it plain like this if you want, or you can just put some glitter on it. Or you can actually use um, glittered cardstock. I was thinking of using glitter cardstock for the hat itself, but on the back of it, it's white, and I wanted it black on both sides, so I just went with the black cardstock instead of the glitter. And I thought, ugh, I have all these embossing folders, might as well get them out and start using them. Okay, and I backed up my sentiment with some foam tape for dimension, and I'm just going to put it here in the top right hand corner and then I'm going to set these aside and we're going to create the box now the box if I'm not mistaken the measurements are um, the measurements I think are the same as our Santa suit and Mrs. Claus treat box which makes this very easy so you're going to have a sheet that measures seven by four and a half line it up in your scoreboard at the seven inch mark and you're gonna score at three inches and then again at four inches and then you're gonna flip it line it up at the four and a half inch mark and you're gonna score at one inch flip it around to the opposite side and score again at one inch. I was also thinking I want to make a little elf suit treat box, so I may still get that done. Or maybe a little elf um, party favor, like treat box. I don't know, I'm going to play around with some stuff. I was thinking of doing a snowman uh, little party favor box too, so. I think the next thing though I'm going to do is an actual gift card for this. So you don't have to rip out the gift cards if you want to give the whole pack. I'm just going to make a gift box for this size. So I think that will be my next video. Because a lot of the standard gift card holders, you have to take them out of the package and put the gift card in. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut on your score line, meet up with this score line, just don't cut over it. You're going to do the same thing on this side and create this little flap in the middle. Turn it around and you're going to do the same thing. Cut on your score line right up to the next score line, just don't cut over and the same thing here and you're going to create a flap on this side and then once you have your flaps you're going to take some adhesive, some glue, whatever you like using I just I like using liquid glue if you use liquid glue though use it sparingly because you don't want your box to warp if you put too much it will definitely warp your box. Okay, so you're going to put some on this tab and then put some on this tab here. And then you're going to fold up this side to meet that little tab on both ends. And then take your bone folder and press it down really well. Flip it around and do the same on this side. And then open up the box, and on this tab and this tab, we're going to add more glue. And 
And then all you have to do is fold the box down and fold the tabs up. Keep it pretty simple. And then take your bone folder and run it along the sides just to make sure it's adhered down really well. And then on the front of our box, I'm going to add more liquid glue to the edge. And in the center, I'm going to set it down and get the front of our snowman hat. And I'm going to back it up to it. But because this is like a glittered ribbon, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue across so that I know it adheres really well. And then you're going to just line it up and pop it right against. And just make sure your hat is balanced on each side of your box. And then take your bone folder and run it all along the inside around the edges. Just don't press really hard because you're going to lose that embossing if you do. And then flip it around to this side and we're going to do the same thing. Add glue all around your edge and then all in the center here. Took a little bit of hot glue over the hat ribbon and just going to back it up against the box. Before I press it, I'm going to use my fingers on each side to make sure that the hat is balanced and then I'll push it. And again, run your bone folder along all the edges and in the center. Just don't press down too hard because you don't want to flatten out that really pretty embossing that you just did. So I filled my treat box with some of this um, basket filler that I actually got I think I got this at Michael's, yeah, a long time ago. It's red, green, and white basket shred. So I added some of that, and then the inside, I wanted you to see how much you can actually fit in these. Oh, I have these in there too. So you can probably fit like a lot of Hershey Kisses, but I love to add these red bird ornament, or mints. The thing is, they're kind of puffy because there's air in the bags. So I was able to fit five Hershey Kisses and three of these packaged um, mints in there. But you could probably really fill it if you wanted to. I just I like to add paper shred in mine. I just because I think it looks decorative and cute. But you don't have to do that. You can just fill as much candy in there as you can entirely up to you but I did want to show you what I fit in mine and then for the handle you're gonna need a piece that measures five and a half by three quarter of an inch wide and I just kind of rounded it a little bit and on this one I put it this way let me see what it looks like this way I'm not sure which I like better guys what do you think ah I think I like it this way so I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom piece and I'm going to glue it on the inside of the box to the side. Press it down and I'm going to do the same thing over here. And you don't even have to add a handle if you don't want to. You could actually probably just put like a bag in there. Or just let it as is don't even add a handle but I kind of like the handle but it's up to you okay guys and that is our snowman hat treat box if you have any questions let me know if you give it a try I hope you have fun making yours thanks so much for watching take care and happy crafting